Alright, hey guys, this is Divine here, and today I will be showing you the second part of my first video, how to port forward and actually start getting people on your server. First up, what actually is port forwarding? What do you do? Port forwarding basically allows people to enter your computer and connect to source, because if you don't have a uh, a port open which is you can think of it like a little gate honestly a little gate on your computer that uh, people can come in if you have it open and if you have it port forwarded people can come in and through that little hole uh, that little gate uh, they can connect your source uh, so let's get started first off we have to get no IP now this step is technically optional, but I highly recommend it due to the fact that um, people can get your IP very easily if you don't do this, and there can be problems. So let's just open up our web browser here, and into Google just type in no IP, and go to noip.org, no, noip.com rather. And then you will need to sign up, uh, which is this button here. Yet again, uh, I have signed up already, so I won't. But if I go over here and uh, log in, then once you're logged in, once you've created your account, you'll see excuse me, this page here. Now, you're going to want to say, press this button called add a host. Uh, then here, this is what your no IP will be. I personally, it, do, it doesn't matter in the slightest really, but I prefer uh, noip.org or .biz, it doesn't really matter. So here we could put, for example, your RSPS server. In the in the uh, no IP would read your RSPS server dot no IP dot biz. This here will be your uh, your IP, and you don't want either of those. So uh, these are the settings you'll want. Ignore the mail options and create the host. Now here we have uh, your your RSPS dot your RSPS server dot no IP dot biz. and that's great and all, but what do you do with it? Well, if we go back to just the homepage noip.com, we want to press download. Then you'll pick your type. Uh, I assume you're all going to be Windows. Um, not too many people are Linux and. I'm sorry anyone who's on a Mac, it just, it's so annoying to do RSPS on a Mac. So you download this, I already have it. Once the download's done, you'll find um, this screen. Oops. This. And if it doesn't already default to it, you'll have to press select hosts. You can see your RSP server, your RSPS server, dot no IP, dot biz. And you save it, and everything should be fine. Uh, so yeah, that's the no IP part of it, and I will be back in a moment for the actual port forwarding part. Thanks, guys. Okay, hey YouTube. Um, now we get to do the actual port forwarding part, where we're going to uh, open those ports or gates, and uh, furthermore allow them to be accessed. Uh, this, honestly, this is my least favorite part. This was, I didn't like it when I had to do it also. But uh, looking back, it's really not that bad if you uh, just do, if you don't look at the whole port forwarding as a whole, but rather as just a, uh, a little, a few little parts. So, let's start by just opening a uh, command prompt. Now, if you're in Windows, then you're, I mean, if you're in Windows 7, rather, 
then you're just going to uh, go to your start and in the little box type in CMD press enter. That'll open this box. Now if you're on XP then you're going to um, do the start menu. You're going to uh, go to run, type in CMD, CMD, and uh, yet again press enter. This box will open up. As for Vista, I have never used it and so I'm not completely sure but the one way I do know is to go to your desktop, hold down the shift key, then right click and say open command window here. Then you'll get that. But now let's uh, get back to this. You're going to type in ipconfig, IP configuration, then press enter. You'll get this big list of data, but really all we're worried about for our purposes is the IP version 4 address and the default gateway. So let's uh, yet again open up our web browser and in the address bar I want you to type in whatever you, your default gateway is. For example mine is 192.168 point something point something. I'm obviously not going to tell you um, but so we'll just type that in. It will require a password, but 99% uh, of the time, the password will be admin to admin. Then you're in. Note that this tutorial is only for Linksys routers. If you are on Netgear or Belkin, uh, I will have, um, I obviously can't do either of those because I don't have them, but I will find some uh, normal tutorials and I will post them in the description, so check them out there. Next, let's go to uh, Applications and Gaming. And here you'll see this big list. Uh, on the first open slot, I want you to type in RSPS or the name of your server. Uh, it doesn't matter, really. Then, in the next slot over, in the external port, I want you to type in 4 three, five, nine, four. Then in the internal port, do the same. Type in four, three, five, nine, four. The protocol you'll want is TCP. Uh, actually, do both. Then for the two IP address, you're going to go back to your open uh, command prompt and find this time the IP version four address. Um, it is uh, obviously there, and it should already say the first few digits, um, well, the first, a uh, large amount of digits, rather. And so all you have to do is type in the last few numbers. And then all you have to do is save your settings. And you are almost done. That was the hardest part.